Hey guys, my name is Nexus and this is Waterlogged, made May 28th, 2000. This was the very first entry in the trial contest and as such, the author's name and its place and final score are being withheld until the end of this video. So, moving on. Okay guys, here's normal, hard, and expert. Okay guys, so this is waterlogged. And that little note there will tell you the basics of what this contest is about. There are two scenarios that were part of the contest rules. Uh, setting A was that the local authorities have just finished building a new public swimming baths and are to celebrate its opening this evening with a gala. The sewer never looked so appealing. Now this did have a fixed objective of obtaining the gala trophies. Or gala if you prefer. I... <sighs> Sewage is definitely not the glamorous part of the job. I don't actually know how to pronounce that offhand. Fun fact, there are two different uh, sound brushes between here and there. So if you hear that voiceover from, from here, you won't be able to hear it quite as well. Very unfortunate. Anyway, scenario B was to create a horror mission without the use of undead. Nobody chose that option. It can be really difficult to get the uh, the feeling of that kind of mission just right, so I completely understand why not, but there were 21 entrants to this contest. Now I'm gonna let that sink in for a second, there were 21 entrants to this contest. However, there are only four missions in this contest. We do have to press this twice, it's a uh, thing with it being on the on state already. Scary noises, and that guy's crazy. So, luckily that's not an easter egg, because easter eggs were against the contest rules. Specifically, if they showed off uh, your name in any way. Uh, if they gave any hint as to who you were, you would be disqualified automatically. So, obviously, any sort of secrets like this would have to be carefully controlled. And, let's see. I'm trying to look at the whole list of rules and paraphrase them while I go. But the simple thing that actually really confuses me was the contest rules. Um... It states in the rules that the contestants would get three months from the announcement date to actually, you know, complete their entry. And that didn't happen. Um, it's kind of odd and I'm not really sure why, but this contest was declared May 7th, 2000. And it ended June 9th of 2000. So they got, you know barely a month to uh, figure out what they were going to do with this contest. And obviously since there were 21 entrants, I'm kind of wondering what the rationale there was. Um, I do understand it a little bit about why it would have been the case, but I really don't agree with it. I am ignoring all this because it goes nowhere important, nowhere with loot. Um, I could show it off, it's a little bit interesting, but they are useless rooms, and, I mean, look at this, very bare bones, there's not a whole lot in it, there's nothing to do here, it's just kind of here for decoration, and that's not really a bad thing in a normal mission, but in a contest mission it just makes it look a little bit, you know, unpolished, that there's nothing in there. But, either way, uh, it wouldn't surprise me that a lot of these missions are a bit unpolished because of the time constraints. Um, I think the reason why they decided to cut it short, and then let me read this first. 
that just discusses the ring we got under underneath in the sewers. But I'm pretty sure the reason they cut the time constraints was because of exams. That was the uh, posted reason. And it makes sense. My only issue with it is wondering why they didn't just wait three months for the 21 people to try and do it. Instead of just saying, oh, you can't start on it, you know, in this three months. Better not be the sun. <laughs> it just strikes me as a little bit strange, but I get what they were trying to do. Um, so another contest rule that was a good idea, I guess. I mean, it makes sense, but I don't necessarily agree with it. Um, one of the rules said no custom bins, no custom... Well, it says no custom bins, and that usually means meshes and models and textures, as I understand it. Uh, because they specifically said nothing that wasn't on the disc. So... I don't know, I don't really agree with that, and none, none of the other contests that came later actually followed that rule, so... I think it's a good thing. I think it shows more creativity to be able to determine which newer textures are better than others. Um, the colory to that rule was that scripts could be included, but they had to have a copy of the script in the zip file. Now we can't let her drown here, so I'm gonna pick her up. Don't go into the other changing room, there's just a guard, nothing else there. Um, I do think that the loot distribution in this is a little bit off to say, to say some things. You should encourage people to go in every room, and in this one, not so much. I know where all the loot is, mostly. I think I something missed, now. like, a hundred or so last time I did this. <clears throat> Was through here? Okay, I guess we'll go this way real quick. Um, so, one of the other weird rules, though, was that there was a rule that stated that entries could be in Thief the Dark Project, uh, Thief Gold, or Thief the Metal Age. However, the rule right underneath that says that only Thief 2... Uh, missions would actually be eligible for for entry or winning. I don't know. It just said would be eligible. And I don't really know what that means without context. And unfortunately, a lot of the uh, posts that would have been about this are missing or gone. I believe there was a database problem like way back in 2001. Or, early, or later than that. I, I honestly don't remember when that was supposed to have happened, but there... With some kind of database error, they actually... Like, you can see people who are listed as guests on the really old threads from 1999 and 2000. Um, and I think that's when they switched to a different system so that you couldn't be a guest. I imagine that would be because of spam bots. Let's read this. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, baths were not especially common in this time period. Most of the richer people just used a whole bunch of perfume to cover up their stench. True story. So, one of the other things about this is... Let's see, where what have I not said on my little... I have a little note there because there's a lot of stuff I had to cover just now. Oh, right, okay, the scores. The scores are all out of 60, and there are six judges. Um, obviously, I think I've already said that there were no missions of the undead style. I did say that, right? If I didn't, then scenario B is to create a horror mission without the use of undead. Pay more attention. And nobody chose that. So, I was complaining about things being in toilets before. Yeah, that's that's why. That's why. Go away. Um, but yes, there are six judges total. I'll list them in order in a moment. Might as well be now, I guess. So the first judge was Micah G. Second was Andrew did. Sorry, Andrew Dagilis. The third was Mareki. The fourth was Totality. The fifth was My Old Name Broke. 
And the sixth was Doom. With a capital O as, as the second letter. Now, most of these people have disappeared from the forums by 2002. That includes the people who entered in, into this contest. Um, most people just dis straight up disappeared. Never came back after 2002 for, you know, some reason, just different parts of 2001, 2002 time period. They stopped stopped liking the forums or stopped playing Thief. I, I don't know, and that's that's entirely up to them. Before I keep going, I'm going to go with this. Damn, it's a fake. Yeah. Fake prizes, everybody. And I got that key earlier, which I need for this door here. Um, so one of the reasons why at least one judge it would not ever return ever again, uh, very unfortunately, Andrew Dagelis, uh passed away in December of 2001 due to a brain tumor, which was operated on, and then he took a turn for the worse, and obviously there's a little bit of a memorial up on Thief the Circle. If you search his name, it's one of the first pages that comes up. It's it's really sad, honestly, because I can't help but wonder, you know, where he would have been now if he, uh, you know, kept being in the community. But for those of you who don't know, Andrew Dagelis was a reviewer on Thief the Circle back when they used to do reviews with the hammers that they had uh, as the rating system instead of stars. So, rest in peace, Andrew. Clog, is that you? We will always miss you. I'm just gonna steal this key. But enough of the sad things. Let's talk about something happy like loot collection. Uh, the book in there says where all the, um, everything is, really. It tells you where all of the key- uh, actually, no, I don't think it tells you where the keys are. But it does tell you where they're located. There's nothing behind that, so no need to crack it open. Although there are scary noises, there are no haunts in this. So I am actually mildly curious if uh, the author in question actually um, intended to sort of do both categories at once. Nothing there for it. But definitely... Setting A fits the majority of this. It's just this one section that's setting B. Or scenario B, rather. Let me just take that, even though I know I don't need it. I actually know that for 100% fact. I do not need this arrow ever again. And obviously, as the accountant, she has an accounting book. Which is pretty neat. Um, what have I forgot? Oh, I forgot to mention how the scoring worked. So the scoring was out of 60, and there were six categories out of 10 that you got to choose from. Or, sorry, that you had to choose. And then you would, you know, give a score for each of those categories. So the first category was gameplay, and then there's atmosphere, and creativity. Architecture, loot placement, and bugs. So, there were also categories out of five that if they did them poorly, you would take off no more than five points. So, bad objects, uh, such as... I'm trying to think of a really good example. Um, like, if there was a car out front, that would probably be an example of a bad object because it doesn't doesn't fit the theme and it doesn't really add anything to the mission. Let me read this before I continue. Nothing important. Um, but then there was also bad AI placement. Like, if you would always get caught, that would, you know, bring down your score. Um, unfinished rooms would count against your score. Bad architecture, like if you, if there was a place where you would, you know, get stuck a lot, counted against your score. 
if something required constant saving, yeah, constant saving to actually complete, like say a jumping section, uh, that would bring down your score if they felt that it detracted from the mission. Sorry, that's got confused. Um, and then it was a score based on if it's you know too corridor or too huge. Um, so based on all those criteria, you get to judge a mission, and you know, this is a pretty normal average mission, in my opinion. Um, it's pretty much on par with a lot of the things we've been seeing. I time to stop for a snack. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Um, it is by no means perfect, nor the best I've ever seen. <laughs> But it's definitely not even close to being the worst, so let me check my objectives. Yeah, I've done everything. So, I'm kinda just gonna make my escape then. Huh? Yeah. There's there's someone there. Thanks. Oh, just gonna make my escape. There is actually no way to get this bottle without venturing far enough into the light. Um. <laughs> you you will get caught trying to get this bottle. It is completely unavoidable. Don't know what's up with this guy. Excuse me, you're in my way. God, they're so rude. I imagine that they're gonna alert the front parts. Now, obviously, I could have just knocked them out, but since I'm pretty much done. And the end point is over this way. I'm going to ignore it. See, there's a section where you can get up there where that robot is. Uh, but from what I remember, there's no actual loot there. I don't think you can actually get into that door without something I don't have. No, I take that back. You can get in there, but I don't remember anything important being in there. Um, so obviously this guy only spawns once you open the front door. And, you know, he can do whatever he wants, really. But, uh, unfortunately, he gets knocked out for it. I don't have any flash bombs whatsoever. Yeah, whatever. Someone's broken in! So, uh, this is how we handle guards out front who decide to, uh, be posted in such a way. Now, some people would consider that bad AI placement. I don't. I mean, they're supposed to be guarding it. You're not supposed to be able to get here. Okay, where does this go? Oh, okay. I've been in there. It leads to that part and that part. And that part leads through here. There's literally nothing there. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to keep going. So, we missed 355 loot, because I'm a dummy who doesn't go everywhere, but that's okay. I think I missed a ring, specifically, that I think is what I know I missed. Um, but I like having an even 2,000, so I'm okay with that. So now it's time to announce whose entry this was. This was Belboz's entry. B-E-L-B-O-Z. Also known as Stephen Hindley. That's his real name. Belboz is also known as. Never mind. Uh, so he received a 32, a 41, a 49, a 42.5, a 33, and a 40 for his scores. The final score, an average of the 6, was a 39.6, putting him solidly in second place. So, I will see you guys next time.